Hello, my bomb blowers and module masters, and today I am here with another Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes modded module tutorial, and today I am here with the module Gender Cipher. Gender Cipher is a module that uses all of these valid gender symbols in order to have a sort of Caesar Cipher based on the number of times that these gender symbols have been rotated, either clockwise or counterclockwise, corresponds to the number of times that these letters have been shifted forward through the alphabet. Let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial. This module does require all of the edge work, so I do have the edge work HUD on for this bomb. There is only one... All available experts, please report to room A9. So, this is Gender Cipher. You've got four different buttons that are colored, all with different gender symbols on them, and you've got two different displays flashing different colors. So, what do we do? These four symbols are corresponding to four letters of a four-letter word. So it is our job to decrypt what these buttons' letters are, and that will give us a word, and then we're going to get a new word and submit that word using these same symbols. So where do we begin? First of all, we're going to need a column in this table. So let's go ahead and find it. If there's an equal number of batteries and indicators, 5 is not equal to 0. Equal number of batteries and holders, 5 is not equal to 3. Equal number of lit and unlit indicators, 0 is equal to 0, so we're going to be using 3 as our starting column. And now we're going to adjust the column according to the number of port types wrapping around if necessary. So we're going to be moving either left or right a number of times equal to the number of port types. We have four port types, so we're going to be moving either four spaces left or four spaces right. Which way? If the last digit of the serial number is even, which it is not, otherwise move right. So we're going to move four spaces to the right. One, two, three, four meaning we're going to be using column 2 as our column for uh, the starting letters of each of these symbols. So for this first example, I'm going to do this as if this was in a voice bomb setting. Uh, before I do this, let me briefly go over how I would describe all of these symbols. They're all fairly simple. You've got the standard female and male symbols. You've got the one with both female and male ends. You've got the, this one, which has uh, which has an arrow with a tick through it. This one has just a line coming out of it. This one has just a line coming out of it and a line to the center. This one has half of the female and half of the male symbol. This one just has half the male symbol, and this one just has half the female symbol. This one has a triangle coming out of it. This one has an asterisk coming out of it. This one has an asterisk and an arrow with a slash through it, as well as a slash for the center. This one has the male and female ends on opposite sides, along with some ticks coming out of it. This one has the male, female, and the arrow with a tick symbol coming out of it. This has a tango coming out of it, and this has an alpha coming out of it. Alright, so now that I've gone over this, let's go ahead and get our... So the first one is uh, the one with the asterisk and the tick arrow. Um, the arrow points left, and the button is cyan. Next we have the one with both male and female ends. Uh, the male end is upright, and the button is gold. Next we have the one with the triangle coming out of it. It is pointing up left, and the button is cyan. And then finally we have the one with uh, three different ends. Uh, the male arrow is top right, so upright, and the uh, male is upright, and then the button is pink. All right, so let's convert these into what we have on the table. Asterisk and tick arrow is this one. Uh, this one is polygender, so poly. Next, we have the one with the female, male and female ends, which was this one, which is bigender, I believe. Next, we have the one with the triangle end, which is this one, third gender. And then we have the one with the three different ends, which is this one. This is gender fluid, no, transgender. 
All right. Um, all of... Actually, hold, never mind. I'll just wait on that. So, next we need to figure out the direction that is being used to encrypt these symbols. So, based on whether the number of models is prime or not, we have one module on the bomb, one that's not prime. And the number of modules, we have one module, which is 23 or less. We're going to be getting a direction in the table, which corresponds to clockwise. So, all of the symbols have been rotated clockwise a number of times in order to get the symbols that are on the buttons. So we're going to convert from the letter in the table to the letter on the module, and this will be giving us a four-letter word. So to start, we're going to take the letter in the table. So for our first button, it is 23, which is W. Next, we're going to go down here, and the color of the button corresponds to how many times it has made a complete 360 degree rotation. This is equivalent to eight rotations, which will send you back to the original orientation, whether you're moving clockwise or counterclockwise. So what this means is that we're going to be adding eight times whatever number is associated with the color of the button. So for our first one, it's cyan, so eight times one. And then... We're going from the arrow pointing down to the arrow pointing left. So we're going to move the symbol two clockwise, one, two, to make it point left. We're going to subtract 26 until it gives us a letter from one to 26. And this gives us our first letter as golf. Next, let's take this symbol. The first, the, the starting letter is Charlie. We're going to add eight times whatever number is associated with gold, which is three. And then the male symbol is pointing upright, and it is pointing upright in the diagram as well, so uh, we don't need to add any other rotation, which means our next letter is an alpha. Then we have the third gender, which was this one. We're going to start from 26. We're going to add eight times one, which is a number associated with cyan. And then it goes from left to up left, which is one rotation clockwise. Which gives us an India. And then finally, we're going to start with X-ray, which is 24. It is pink, and pink is 2, so we're going to add 8 times 2. And then it has male in the upright on the module, which it also has male in the upright in the table. So it didn't rotate at all. We're going to subtract 26, and this gives us a November, which gives us the word of gain. Let's find gain in the table. And now, this is when the colors of the strips come in. Let's go ahead and take down these as reads. The top one is flashing yellow, white, purple, black, and the other one is flashing pink, yellow, blue. So, what these colors correspond to is, these are actually the colors of the pride flags. And based on the colors, we're going to be performing two transi transformations from gain in the table in order to get a new word. So what order do we apply these transformations? If a serial number has a vowel, which it does, we're going to be applying the transition of the first top display first. So we're going to be doing the top display yellow, white, purple, black, which is the non-binary flag, this one. Move to the cell in the same position within the current quadrant and the quadrant that is vertically adjacent. So the quadrants, because this is an 8x8 grid, we can split this into four quadrants of 4x4. Four four. This is the first quadrant, the second, the third, and the fourth. Let me unhighlight these really quickly. So, we're going to be moving... So, within the bottom left quadrant, we are in Bravo 1. We're going to be moving to Bravo 1 in the quadrant that is vertically adjacent to the one that we're currently in. So, we're in the bottom left quadrant, we're going to move vertically adjacent to the top left quadrant, and we're going to go to Bravo 1 within that quadrant, which is Bravo 1 in the actual grid. And then we're going to apply the transformation to the pink, yellow, blue flag, which is the pansexual flag, which is this one. It's cyan. We're going to be moving n spaces up where n is the sum of the digits in the serial number. 0 plus 3 is 3, so we're going to be moving up by 3. 
one, two, three, meaning we will be submitting past. All right. So we're going to be going from the starting letter in the table to the four letters and the word past. For submission purposes, you cannot change the colors of the buttons. So what we want to submit is what direction that these symbols will be pointing in the encrypted word. Let's go ahead and get started with this. So for our first one, we have um, the polygender. We're going from whiskey to papa. So to get to papa from whiskey, we would have to move 19 letters forward to the alphabet. Now, because the number of, I mean, because you can't change the color of the button, you can take this number of rotations modulo 8, which gives us 3. And so, we will be applying 3 clockwise rotations to the symbol in the table to get the letter that we want. So, the arrow tick, instead of pointing down, will be pointing 1, 2, 3. And we, it will be pointing towards the up left corner. So... Our poly gender arrow should be pointing up left. Next, we're going to go from Charlie to Alpha. We're going to Alpha from Charlie, which gives us 24. Modulo by 8 is 0, which means we're not going to be rotating the symbol in the table. So we're just going to take the symbol in the table, which means the male symbol should be pointing up right. For the third one, we're going to go from Zulu to Sierra. We're going to go from Sierra, I mean to Z Sierra from Zulu, which is just 19 spaces forward. Modulo 8 is 3. So we're going to take three rotations from the symbol in the table. 1, 2, 3, meaning our final symbol should be pointing up right. And then finally, we're going to take the transgender one. We're going to be going from X-Ray to Tango. So to get to Tango from X-Ray is 22 spaces forward. Launch of the 8 is 6. So we're going to be rotating 6 spaces clockwise, which is the same as 2 spaces counterclockwise. So 1, 2. The male should be pointing up left. Let's go ahead and submit this. You can only move clockwise by pressing the buttons. And if you hold the button, and you hear that sound, then it will reset to the initial orientation of the symbol. So first off, we're going to be pointing this to the up left. Here, we're going to be pointing the male symbol to the up right, which is already there. Next, we're pointing the third gender one to the up right, and then the transgender symbol to where the male symbol is in the up left. And when we submit, that is a solved gender cipher. Let's do one more. I have a new bomb, so we get both new etchwork, and because there are two modules in the bomb, the direction of encryption has changed. Two is prime, as opposed to one, which was not prime, and the number of modules is still 23 or less, so we are moving counterclockwise to encrypt this time. Let's go ahead and take... Uh, not this one, because they have the same flashing flags. Let's take this one instead. So I showed you how to do this on the voice bomb setting, so now I will do this one as if I'm EFMing it. First of all, let's take our starting column. Um, one is not equal to three, but one is equal to one, so we have an equal number of batteries and holders. Our last digit is three, which means we're going to move right by zero. There are no ports, so we're not moving, meaning this is the column we're using. Let's highlight our symbols. And for this example, we got the, I believe this is gender fluid. Yeah, we got the gender fluid symbol. This is easily the hardest one to deal with because as you can see, the arrow is not pointing in a definite north or northwest uh, direction. It is pointing somewhere in between. So when you're dealing with the gender, polygender symbol, you're going to have to deal with it's pointing in between two directions. So on the module, for example, you can tell that it's pointing in between the left and up left. It's not pointing in either of the directions, it's pointing in between them. 
So keep that in mind if you get the gender queer symbol. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to go from Bravo. We have our button is Cyan, which is once. And then to get from this to this, we move counterclockwise by two, which means our first letter is Lima. For our second symbol, we're starting at 15. We're adding 8 times 1 because the button is cyan. And to get from down left to top right, that's 4 movements counterclockwise, which gives us an alpha. Next, we're going from our tango here. We're going to start from Juliet. 8 times 0 because white is 0. And to get from the top left to the bottom right, that's just a rotation of 4, which gives us a November. And then finally, for the genderqueer, we're going to start with 4, not genderqueer, the polygender one. We're going to start from 4, add 8 times 0 because it's white. And then to get from this to this, this is a movement of 1 counterclockwise. We're going from the space between up and up left into the space between up left and left, which is a movement of one counterclockwise. So our word is lane. Let's find it in the grid. And then let's find out which one we're using first. The serial does have a vowel, so we're going to use the top display. The top display is flashing a rainbow of colors, which is the one and only gay flag. We're going to move n spaces to the left, where n is the largest digit in the serial. So that is 8, and because the grade is an 8 by 8, moving left 8 spaces just takes you back to the same space you started with. So the grade wraps around, so we're going to move left 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then our other one is the non-binary flag, which is this one. Move to the cell in the same position within the current quadrant in the quadrant that is vertically adjacent. So we're in alpha 3 in the top left quadrant. We're going to move to alpha 3 in the bottom left quadrant, which means we are gunning for the word pure. Okay, so let's go ahead and get to pure. Starting with this first one, we are trying to get to pure to Papa from Bravo. Which means we're going to take 14 rotations, but it is 6. So we're going to take 6 counterclockwise rotations. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Meaning that this symbol should be pointing towards the left. Two counter, uh, 6 counterclockwise movements the same as 2 clockwise movements, so you could have done that as well. Next up, we're going to go from Oscar to Uniform. So from um, no, 2 Uniform from Oscar is 6 rotations. So to go 6 counterclockwise or 2 clockwise, 1, 2, meaning this should be pointing towards the down right. Next up, we have this. We're going from Juliet to Romeo, which is just a distance of 8. So we're not changing the rotation of this. Going from Juliet to Romeo is a distance of 8, so it rotations is just the same thing in the, in the table. And then finally, we're going from Delta to Echo, which is just DE, that's just moving one four through the alphabet. So we're moving one counterclockwise to what's already on the module, and when we submit, that is a solved module. I'm not going to do the other one, I only had two modules on this ball, just to show what you do in the case of the two different rotation directions. So that is it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask me in the comments. And thank you for watching. Have a nice day.